Montague Road West End or bags2go.com.au Break down on the Howden Highway Bridge, Brighton has been clear, so all clear over there, both directions. Nearby Redcliffe Parade has been closed off for through this afternoon from Sunday markets. Anzac Avenue, Kippering to Redcliffe, getting quite busy now. A little bit busy too, Kelvin Grove Road, outbound through to Anoka Road. No delays all Brisbane Majors and good run up the sunny coast, Bruce Highway. Carnival family deals at Doctor Flight Centre. Grab the gang and cruise to South Pacific from $311 per night. Book now. And it's Jay Mac, more traffic soon on B105. Oh. Just when you thought you'd chosen your next car, meet the Kia Cerato S Automatic with wireless Apple CarPlay and a fresh new look from just $27,490 drive away. Your move. Fetch is the way to see what's new across streaming apps without all the app jumping. Fetch, the way to watch. B105 News Briefing. Good morning, I'm Celeste with you. John Farnham is loaning the nation's unofficial anthem that changed his life in support of the voice of referendum. Your The Voice will soundtrack a new series of yes ads from the Uluru Dialogue to be released in a nationwide blitz. It's the first time Farnham has allowed his 1986 hit to be used commercially. While if The Voice is defeated next month, the opposition leader Peter Dutton has promised to hold a second referendum, but only on constitutional recognition if he wins power at the next election. It won't include a specific voice. Employers who deliberately underpay staff could face 10 years jail and be fined almost $8 million under proposed new federal wage theft laws. The crackdown is part of closing loopholes in the industrial relations system. It'll be tabled in Parliament tomorrow. Minister Tony Burke has told the ABC dodgy behaviour has gone on long enough. Striking things about the big cases of wage theft that we've seen hasn't just been the quantum. It's been how many years it's gone on before we've got to it. A man is being charged over an alleged hit run that killed a brother and sister in Sydney southwest on Friday. The 20-year-old was driving on a disqualified licence. Prominent travel agent Flight Centre is protesting the government's decision to stop extra guitar flights coming into Australia's major cities. They're launching a series of ads until Canberra changes its mind. And India has continued its ambitious space exploration, successfully launching a mission to the sun a week after landing on the moon. Don't miss your chance to win 100 grand and the daily chance to win the cost of your shop back when you spend $30 or more at Foodworks. Get in quick for your chance to win must end this Tuesday. Partly cloudy today, 25 is the top, a possible shower 27 tomorrow. And listener is your home to B105's 50K Flyaway podcast. It could win you a $50,000 dream holiday. We play again at 7am tomorrow morning on B105. Right now at Mercedes-Benz Gold Coast, receive exceptional offers on all demonstrator vehicles while stocks last at Mercedes-Benz Gold Coast. Good afternoon. A multi-vehicle crash southbound on the Pacific Motorway at Merrimack causing some delays of up to 10 minutes at the moment. Also on the Gold Coast Highway, you've got current delays up to 10 minutes through Southport, Main Beach and Surfers Paradise each way. Rest of the Pacific Motorway currently looking like a pretty good run though. No major other delays between Yatla and Burley. Find your dream home with a dream view. Just a short stroll to beautiful parks and your future town centre at Yarra Bilbers Burnham Views. To find out more Search Yarra Bilba today. It's Paul on the Gold Coast, number one hit music station, 90.9 CFM. say in shaping the Indigenous voice to Parliament if the yes vote prevails. Anthony Albanese promises to establish a joint parliamentary committee co-chaired by Labor and Coalition members to determine its design. The move aims to address concerns about the lack of specifics surrounding the proposal. Meanwhile, a new poll shows the cost of living as the top concern for about 90% of voters, while only 15% considered the voice as a priority issue.
issue. The Redbridge survey also highlights educated, young and diverse voters are likely to choose yes, whereas those on low incomes were more inclined to vote no. Northern Territory's Chief Minister has been left shaken after a woman allegedly pushed a cream-covered crepe into her face at a Darwin market. Police are investigating the incident, which comes four months after Natasha Files had a distressing encounter with anti-fracking protesters. A man is in a critical condition after an electronic bike crash at Watson's Bay in Sydney's east. Paramedics treated the cyclist at the scene before transferring him to St Vincent's Hospital. And a New South Wales police operation tackling knife crime and anti-social behaviour has resulted in the seizure of five firearms and 61 knives. Operation Foils led to 140 people being charged with weapon-related offences, drug detections, outstanding warrants and breaches of bail. Awaken your senses. The all new MG5. The rookie Oscar Piastri achieved his first Formula One podium finish, securing third place at the Japanese Grand Prix. Max Verstappen clinching victory, all but sealing his third consecutive drivers' championship. Newcastle has advanced to the NRLW Grand Final after defeating Brisbane 30 points to 24. Valley M favourite Tamika Upton played a pivotal role, scoring a try and assisting in two others. And Australia is taking on India in the second men's one day. The Aussies winning the toss and electing to bowl. Clear skies for the rest of your Sunday Gold Coast, down to 14 tonight, partly cloudy tomorrow, chasing 24 degrees. It's a daily stories that matter in under 20 minutes. Search the briefing podcast on Listener, download the app now and listen for free. Close there, expect delays outbound on the Princess Freeway lane restrictions between Werribee and Geelong for the around the bay bike ride. Also, lane restrictions across the Westgate Bridge because of the ride. Pretty busy past the Zoo Elliott Avenue MacArthur Road. The referendum is on Saturday, October 14. All Australian citizens 18 and over must vote. Check voting options at aec.gov.au slash early. And now you're up to date. So, Melbourne's number one hit music station, The Fox. Just when you thought you'd chosen your next car, meet the Kia Cerato S Automatic with wireless Apple CarPlay and a fresh new look from just 27,490 drive away. Your move. The NBL is back for NBL 24. Catch every moment live on ESPN via KO and Foxtel and every Sunday on 10 feet. NBL, every moment matters. Fox News, first for Melbourne. Hey, it's Matt Layton with you. Tensions are at boiling point as Hamas launch a major attack, capturing Israelis and prompting their leader to declare the country is now at war. The situation remains highly volatile, with around 250 people killed in Israel and a further 230 casualties as a result of retaliation airstrikes in Gaza. Prime Minister Anthony Albanese has posted on X, formerly Twitter, saying he condemns the attacks and Israel has a right to defend itself. US President Joe Biden also declaring support for Israel is rock solid. In this moment of tragedy, I want to say to them and to the world and to terrorists everywhere that the United States stands with Israel. Staying overseas, a series of powerful earthquakes struck the Afghanistan-Iran border region, killing more than 100 people. The toll could climb higher, with the UN's emergency agency reporting the destruction of hundreds of houses. Back home now, it's suspected yesterday's deadly Melbourne shooting is connected to the city's ongoing gangland conflict. 
burnt-out vehicle was found nearby, suggesting a possible link to a series of tobacco shop firebombings. Up to four gunmen remain on the run. And more than two million Aussies have already voted early for the Indigenous Voice referendum. Electoral Commissioner Tom Rogers has told Nine, you can vote now or wait until next Saturday. The best thing to do is to visit our website. So on referendum day, all over Australia, we'll have something like about 7,000 polling places. IKEA turns your home wish list into a checklist. Get inspired with new lower prices on over a 1,000 products, from beds to sofas and everything in between, like sofa beds. Make it happen with IKEA. Checking the Foxcast, partly cloudy and 17 for Melbourne today, down to 7 tonight, more of the same tomorrow. There's a 10 grand mega cash track incoming. It could happen at any time. So keep your cool, collect the cash and keep it locked on the Fox's 100k cash grab. Today, broadcasting on Wadawurrung Country. Good afternoon. It's Will with the latest update. Crews have been called to a large building fire in Batesford. Fireys rushed to the incident along the Midland Highway a bit after six o'clock last night and remained on scene for a few hours. The scene was under control by ten o'clock, and it's unclear at this stage what started the massive blaze. Racing's back on at the Avalon Raceway. The season kicks off tonight with a Halloween theme, and Jeff Drew says there'll be plenty of action on and off the track. We've got wingless sprints, V8 modifieds and street stocks. There's just on 50 wingless sprints, so it should be a good night. The kids can get dressed up. Kids under 12 are free, of course, so there'll be some prizes for the, for the kids. Israel is expanding ground operations in Gaza. The Defence Force claims it's now specifically targeting Hamas tunnels, accusing the terror group of using one of the hospitals as a shield for their underground headquarters. Communications also cut to the territory with no mobile or internet coverage. A motorcyclist has been caught at an outrageously high speed in Dandenong. The 17-year-old allegedly clocked at 207 k's an hour after speeding off on police yesterday morning in Noble Park North. The air wing helped track down the teen who was arrested in Clyde North and he'll face court on a range of dangerous driving offences. And three emergency level fires have flared up in the Western Downs where 32 homes have already been destroyed and two lives lost. There's some of 60 active fires that were burning across Queensland overnight with fireys in the Sunshine State set for a busy weekend. Awaken your senses. The all-new MG5. Romantic 
Warrior remains the hot favourite for today's $5 million Cox Plate. Passing fit after a final vet inspection, 12 horses will run in the race at Mooney Valley, including Gay Waterhouse-trained Alligator Blood. Gay's told Nine she believes her gelding is the best of the lot. He looks terrific. He's training terrific. And he's got, what's he got, seven group ones around his neck. He's like Martin Parr, you know. He's the best of the best. There isn't a better horse going into the race. And Gold Coast has smashed the Giants by 31 points in the AFLW. The Suns now just a couple of points outside the top four with just one match left in the home and away season. Spring has arrived at Harvey Norman Furniture. Celebrate the great weather ahead with a new barbecue and outdoor setting. The Beef Eater 1200 Five Burner Stainless Steel Barbecue, just $1,299. There's room for guests with the Sorrento Nine Piece Outdoor Dining Setting, now $1,799. Or go for real comfort with the Fraser Outdoor Six Piece Lounge and Dining Setting, just $2,499. Spring is here, and so are the savings. Only at Harvey Norman Furniture, Carayo, and Warren Bonds. <laughs> The Homes New V Collection. Homes starting from 193k. Partly cloudy this afternoon for Geelong and the Surf Coast, getting up to 25 degrees. Tomorrow, mostly sunny 24. Right now in Geelong, it's 20. K Roll Traffic. Win 20 grand cash. And are now at Avco Cafe 24 7. G'day there, moving pretty nicely in around town. No dramas in the form of crashes or breakdowns. A great run on the Majors and the Geelong Ring Road at pace in both directions, as is the Surf Coast Highway and Angle Sea Road. If you're making that trek to Melbourne, the Prince is clear past the airport, in through the Moffey Bypass and Point Cook Bend. Has a free merge on the Westgate, which is clear up over the bridge as well. Holiday like a VIP with flight centres first and business travel experts. Tailoring high end holidays to suit your every need. Visit flightcentre.com.au to find out more. More traffic across the weekend. Keep it K Rock. Get, get, get the latest headlines for Geelong and the Surf Coast in 30 seconds. K Rock 955. Sophie Smith. An air ambulance has been sent to a fire in Corio. It's understood paramedics are at officer court treating multiple patients. Geelong residents have recalled cupboards opening and beds shaking during an earthquake that hit the state's southwest just after two this morning. The 5.0 magnitude quake in Colac startling thousands and belting Melbourne and as far north as Bendigo before a 3.6 magnitude aftershock in Apollo Bay just before six. No damage has been reported. The state government has invested $3.6 million into a new school at the Royal Children's Hospital. Premier Jacinta Allen today visiting the school that will replace the existing education institute. It's set to open in the first half of next year, aimed at keeping kids with chronic and acute health issues engaged in learning. And China has agreed to review tariffs on Aussie wines, which have crippled exports. Anthony Albanese confirming a, for a further thought in relations with Beijing to look at the tax imposed in 2020 over the next five months. The PM also confirming he'll visit China for four days in November to meet with leader Xi Jinping. Awaken your senses. The all new MG5. K Rock Sport. Give your windows the edge with Geelong's experts. Lines with an edge. Round 8 of the AFLW continues today with the Cats facing Collingwood just after 1. In soccer, Western United and Melbourne Victory have started the new A-League men's season with wins. Overseas, Aussie swimmer Kaylee McEwen has broken another world record at the Swimming World Cup in Budapest. The 22-year-old besting her own time in the 100-metre backstroke just 24 hours after setting a new benchmark in the 50. I wasn't expecting that at all tonight. I had a feeling I could get close, but... Never thought I'd go under in a million years. 
And South Africa will face the All Blacks in the Rugby World Cup final after defeating England by a point. New Zealand thrashed Argentina 44-6 to advance to the decider. Lattes and cool iced mochas go to chill out. Drive through for a barista made iced cold coffee at McCafe today. With India damaged barrier, Main North Road, Nottage Terrace with a speed of 40 in all directions. Adelaide 500 detours continue in the East Parklands. A burst water main, Springbank Road, Elizabeth Street, Clapham holding up eastbound. Roadworks, Hancock Road, White Avenue, Tea Tree Gully, Grand Junction Road, Valley Road, Hope Valley. That's both directions affected there. Targets Black Friday sale is now on. Shop a massive 30% off sleepwear for the whole family. Offer ends November 27. Shop Targets Black Friday. Friday sale now. Teaser C's apply. Now you're up to date on Adelaide's 1071 SAFM. Do not go gentle into that good night. Old age should burn and rave at close of day. Rage. Rage against the dying of the light. Though wise men at their end no dark is right. Because their words had forked no lightning, they do not go gentle into that good night. Kia, movement that inspires. Sketches Cyber Sale is on now. Save up to 50% on selected styles for the whole family, but only till Monday. Shop in store online at sketches.com.au. SAFM News Briefing. Good morning, I'm Celeste with you. 13 Israeli hostages have been freed in exchange for 39 Palestinian prisoners. There was uncertainty this morning after Hamas accused Israel of holding back aid deliveries to northern Gaza. Israel's defence spokesperson says collecting hostages is a difficult process and has called for patience. Regarded as an operation, and it doesn't necessarily mean that each day will be the same. You have to be patient. As much as I understand that the families are in huge pressure and hardship, this is why I urge to be patient. Convicted terrorists with dual nationality could be stripped of their Australian citizenship. New legislation will be put forward to Parliament. Also in Canberra this week, the RBA is in for a massive overhaul as the Treasurer introduces a series of changes. From February, a new board with outside experts will meet eight times a year instead of 11. But the discussion over interest rates will be held over two days. Victoria and New South Wales will need to find room for over 2 million new residents in the next decade, the forecast is from recent ABS data. Australian basketball star Josh Giddy is under NBA investigation after he was embroiled in a teen sex scandal. Oklahoma City Thunder have confirmed, though, he will play this afternoon. And a stellar lineup for tonight's Mushroom 50 Live Eggs special concert event commemorating five decades of Australian music. It'll feature Jimmy Barnes, Paul Kelly and Missy Higgins. Highly cloudy today, 23 is the top. A possible shower tomorrow and 25 degrees. And SAFM's Christmas cash grab has a guaranteed $5,000 this week. Get on Santa's nice list all day tomorrow to play with SAFM's Beck and Soda.
Mix 94.5 Perth Traffic. Find your perfect pair of frames and lenses from just $189 at Bailey Nelson. We do have a crash in Wattle Road now, Welsh Bull Road eastbound at Hale Road. The right lane is currently blocked at the traffic signals, but no delays in the area. Towing services are on site. Looking good on the Mitchell, Quinana and Graham Farmer freeways. And of course, keep in mind, double demerits are in place. Get 40% off everything at Bonds. Stock up on your faves with 40% off in store and online now. Terms, conditions and some exclusions apply. Visit bonds.com.au for full details. Bailey here, see any problems for 1300. 0057345. More traffic soon on Perth's Mix 94.5. Do not go gentle into that good night. Old age should burn and rave at close of day. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. Though wise men at their end no dark is right, because their words had forked no lightning, they do not go gentle into that good night. Kia, movement that inspires. Seek learning beyond the books. Apply now to study at UWA. Across Perth and around the world on this line. This is Mix 94.5. Hey, it's Matt Layton with you. Petrol pumps are about to get a price slash with experts predicting fuel below $2 a litre. That means extra jingle in your pocket for Christmas shopping or that long-awaited road trip. The RMA's Peter Curry telling Nine what's behind the price plunge. The Americans are producing more oil today than they ever have in history uh, and that's obviously led to the falls that we're now seeing. So uh, production levels are up in some parts of non-OPEC countries. Uh, they're still uncertainly about the Chinese economy so those factors combine are resulting in oil prices falling. With WA facing a longer, fiercer fire season, the Cook government is considering a bold move, buying its own firefighting water bomber. Currently leasing one for three months, Emergency Services Minister Stephen Dawson believes owning might be more cost-effective. WA has dealt with seven emergencies in three days. Police in Melbourne are searching for two men who they say opened fire at a home last night in Faulkner. The pair, believed to be driving a stolen Suzuki Swift, targeted the major road property around 11pm. One of the men reportedly fired shots at the front door, but thankfully the three people inside were unharmed. Prague fell silent as the Czech Republic grieved for the 14 victims of the Charles University shooting. Flags flew at half-mast, mourners gathered for a solemn mass, politicians laid flowers to honour the lost lives. And Melbourne gears up for a magical Christmas Eve with carols by candlelight tonight. However, the Weather Bureau suggests packing a raincoat as clouds may bring some festive sprinkles. <laughs> skies for the rest of Christmas Eve in Perth, dropping to 22 tonight, mostly sunny for Christmas Day and a max of 35. Taylor Swift and 10K is coming. Win from January 2nd right here on Mix 94.5.